Subscribe to Extreme Droid channel and press this bell icon and be the first to watch the latest tips and tricks videos. The best thing about Android is that it's completely customizable. There is almost nothing you cannot change about it. And when it comes to customization, the very first thing that comes to our mind are launchers. And no doubt Nova Launcher is the king of Android launchers and I guess most of you guys will agree. It's the ultimate way to customize your smartphone. However, there are many hidden tricks or features which are often overlooked. So here is a rundown of most useful Nova Launcher tips and tricks including some new ones which you may not know. Excited? So let's get started. First, create hidden folders. Do you want one of your folders to show only one icon and leave the rest hidden? If your answer is yes, then just head over to the folder and long press on it and select edit. From here, you can press on the icon to choose a different icon and also change the name of the folder according to your preference. Once that is done, check this swipe to open folder option and you are done. Now your folder will show only one app which you have assigned. If you click the icon, it will open the application that you have configured in. While if you slide, you will see the apps that the folder contains. This will definitely come handy if you want to keep your apps private from the people around you. New way to search your apps. In year 2017, smartphones are more powerful as most of them has 3 or 4 gigs of RAM and in some case 6 gigs also. And that's why now we can install hundreds of our favorite apps without any problem or lag. But if you have hundreds of apps installed on your device, then finding the apps could be a mess. But in Nova Launcher, there is a hidden gesture through which you can find apps easily. You just have to press and hold this little arrow over your launcher and boom, here is the secret search bar. Now the best thing that I like about this search bar is that it is divided into three sections which are frequently used apps, recently used apps and new or updated apps. Most of the times I find my apps in these three sections for that I am looking for. Third, enable and disable the labs menu. Hidden features are cool, isn't it? If you like to more tweak or otherwise personalize your device. All sort of neat stuff can be found behind a door that you may not even realize is there. And you know what? Nova Launcher also has one of those doors. A new option called Labs Menu has been recently introduced in Nova Launcher which is a kind of secret menu, containing experimental features and debugging options. The Labs Menu hides a few options that are hidden, but to access this first, you have to make it visible. It's really easy to display this menu. Simply go to the setting of Nova and hold the volume down button for few seconds to enable it. From here, you can check out various experimental options like big grid size option, up down screen, gmail on read count and many more. In case you would like to hide this again, then just hold the volume up, that's it. Fourth, Double tap to lock. Double tap to lock is one of the coolest feature of Android which was introduced by LG and this one is my favorite because I use it more often to lock my device. But do you know, there is an option in Nova Launcher which will enable the same feature without any root. So let's head over to the setting and scroll down. Here you will find an option called gesture and input, select that. Now click on double tap gesture and select a screen lock. Once done, double tap on home screen which will prompt you to choose a screen lock method. If you choose device admin, the device will lock but if you have a fingerprint featuring device, the fingerprint unlock will not work. However, you can choose timeout which blacks out the display for 5 seconds while the screen timeouts and the device is locked. Fifth, Hide apps. Many users are quite concerned about their privacy and this tip is exactly for those. Nova Launcher also lets you hide any app from the app drawer which you want. If you don't want people preying on your private apps or if you want to hide some annoying blotwares then this feature is very handy. To hide apps, head over to Nova setting then apps and widget drawer, scroll down and tap on hide apps. From here, you just have to select the apps you want to hide and that's it. The apps will be hidden from the home screen as well as from the app drawer. You can easily access these hidden apps by just doing a simple search. So I think it's a very cool feature which is definitely worth trying. Sixth, Add App Drawer Tabs If you are one of those who like to try and install tons and tons of apps on your Android devices, then this feature is definitely for you. 
Installing 10 of apps is not a big concern as nowadays smartphones are very powerful and got lots of RAM and internal storage. But to manage all these apps is a real mess. But don't worry, in Nova Launcher there is an option which will let you create tabs in the app drawer for a simpler and cleaner look. For instance, you can create different tabs of different categories of apps. Like you can create a tab and name it social and in this tab you can put all your social apps like Facebook, Twitter, etc. This feature will not only keep your app drawer cleaner but also help you to stay organized throughout your apps. Now to do that, first you have to enable tab bar from app and widget drawer option. Once it is done, you can also change the tab style, menu, action icon and isolate tabs. Now to create your own custom tab, scroll down below and tap on drawer groups. Here you can add different tabs by tapping on the plus icon on the top right corner. You can also change the order in which they are available in the app drawer. 7th Swipe Actions on App Do you know, in Nova you can assign a swipe up gesture for a specific app to perform different activities or to launch any other app just like this. For instance, I have assigned this gallery icon to open the camera app when I swipe. This could be very useful for those who like to use multiple apps at the same time very often. To enable this on any app, press and hold on an app on which you want to assign the action and tap on edit. Now here you will find an option called swipe action. Just click on that and from here you can assign different actions to that particular app. 8. Pixels App Shortcut Feature I hope you do remember the Pixels app shortcut feature which is just a software level implementation of Apple's 3D Touch and I really love the fact that Google has provided the same functionality without using any additional hardware. But do you know you can get the same features on the latest version of Nova Launcher and I am not kidding. In Nova, you will get this app shortcut feature by which you can access different shortcuts and functions of an app without opening it. Sounds cool. So let's check out how it works. Suppose you want to check out the trending section of YouTube. For that you will first open the app then you will swipe left to access the trending section, right? What if you can access it without even opening the YouTube app? Yep, that's right. Just press and hold YouTube app then this app shortcut option will pop up. From here you can directly access the trending section or subscription section. As of now this feature is working for all Google apps but most of the third party apps doesn't support this. But still it's very fun to use. Change apps icon according to your choice Now, I'm sure most of you guys who are watching this video are aware of the fact that you can easily change the icons in Nova Launcher by just applying icon packs. But I'm also sure that not many people know that you can also change the icons according to your preference from different icon packs. Yup, that's right, you can also do that too. So let me show you how. Currently I'm using Taz icon pack which looks really cool and minimal but there are some icons which I don't like. For instance, this Google Photo icon which I think is too flat, so I want to change it. To change the icon, just press and hold the icon and select edit. Then click on the icon and now you can select from various built-in icons or you can also select icons from different icon packs which suits your style. 10th, Lock the home screen In case you are going to give your smartphone to someone and you don't want that someone to mess with your home screen layout. In that case, Nova have you covered. Because in Nova Launcher, there is a feature through which you can block the home screen for anyone to modify it without your permission. In the setting of Nova, go to desktop down to where it says advance. And in the new menu that appears, change the switch of lock desktop. That's it. Now your home screen is locked. Now in order to unlock it, you have to press and hold on the padlock that appears when you want to change something on the home screen. 11th Gestures One of the main reasons why I use Nova Launcher rather than any other launcher is the gesture support. Due to this, I can cut short most of my work with some simple gestures like swipe up and down, pinch in and out and there are a bunch of others. There are various configurable gestures here, all of which have the same set of options available to them. You can configure as many as you want but for the sake of simplicity, we will just work with the swipe up gesture. The same rule apply in configuring all the other gestures. When you tap on the swipe up option, a new menu will open with three tabbed options, Nova, Apps and Shortcut. The first tab basically shows all the options available exclusively to Nova. Similarly, the Apps tab allows you to assign a gesture to an app. The third tab however isn't as simple as the first two. 
but it is also the most powerful among three. Basically, the shortcuts option allow you to execute more complex choices than just launching an app or opening a menu. So guys, I think these are some of the coolest and useful tricks of Nova Launcher which you should definitely try and if you are using Nova for a long time then you would surely know that there are lots of things which you can do. So guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do, then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this. And don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.